Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we just, um, we were doing, um, uh, lot of killing down here. We killed a lot of ghouls and we found Yariel, I think, who showed us the way down here. And there are some serious um some serious traps we'll have to get through. And There is this puzzle. Um, I did this in between episodes. I already did this. Uh, if you press these buttons, you <clears throat> turn some of these Uh, the middle one will never turn. So you will have to turn it like that, that everything is going to the middle. So these two look like that, and these two down there. And first I thought this is complicated because when you print there, you see, you do uh, this once, this once, and there two times. And um, when you press around long enough, then you get it right. But I think... No, just a second time, yes. Okay, and there once, no, twice, ah, yeah, that's it, that's it, see, we did it, as I said, I did it before, and I pressed around a lot of times, um, yeah, Okay, and there are now three demons. I don't think that they are too hard to handle. I didn't fight them. You're good with riddles. Um, because I, I wanted you to see this. But, <clears throat> yeah, anyway. So let's see. Uh, this is only a level 7 outsider, 48 hit points. I mean, he has some spell resistance and damage reduction, 10 exceptions to your cold iron. I think most of our people have cold iron weapons. No, not him, probably. But me, obviously. Okay, uh, there is, we, we have only, do they have resistance to fire? Yeah, but on the other hand, who cares? It's nice because we, we hit them both. Mm-hmm. Darren, um, let's just shoot this one. See now. Peak. Okay, this wasn't nice. This looked, this looked dangerous, but on the other hand, not too dangerous. 
let's kill this one first. Oh, come on. You peak killer. You try to kill pigs, but you do not. And you shoot it, miss it. Mm -hmm. Darren, move away there. Oh, this is the this is a bigger one than the other two. This is Oistoyrex. 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 It's a level 7 outside and a level 9 rogue. Not nice. Let's do a smite even on him then. Good. Well done. Oh, come on. Really? What's that? Ugh. This is uh, what's it called? Stinking out. Let's try to get out there. out and send some snowball in. Ah, he also has a cold resistance. Bad. Um, oh, let's see. How about the phantasmal killer? Will 12 or Q10? I mean, we have a really high DC for that. Let's try it. Ah. At least nine points of damage. Okay, Darren, we need some healing. Okay, um. <laughs> You can do a uh, Leon Hand self and then just just bomb. No, my dear pig, you are stunken. Oh, no. A fireball, really? That's not nice. You get out of this cloud, and then hope that we get rid of this sooner or later. And one, a three, and a four, really? Okay. At least four points of damage. There's four points of damage. Regil. Um, if we do this again. Yeah. Is most important because she has nearly non uh, hit points left. Sina, 
just do lay on hands self as a swift action and then kill this thing. Thank you. It didn't Oh, there is some loot. Really a scroll of protection from good. You must be joking. <sighs> Magical scraps. Oh, come on. Really, every time we destroy the lock. <sighs> Okay, we are not destroying the lock then. This is stupid. Let's try it this way. Okay. We jammed the lock again. Ooh, Sword of Vader, an ancient relic. Okay, hey, who's making that noise? Okay, Baphomet Cultist, Apricandilus Votari, whatever Votari is, that's not a dwarf. Okay, take him. Pick. No! Ah, this was bad. Stupid me. Should have attacked him. A two, of course. Um, at least they didn't hit as well. Oh, what's this? Go away, beast. Old beast. Mm-hmm. Pig, kill the cultist. That's it. Not also four levels. You must be choking. Can you please not kill my people? Okay, um, do we kill this one first or this one first? Yeah, let's kill this one first. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Connect everything. Move there. Darren. Do your worst. We'll say heal everyone. Especially Rangel, who is nearly dead, who was nearly dead, but now works a bit. So, okay. Journal. Um, Banner of the Citadel. Fate can be ironic. Decades ago, Staunton Wayne, who fought in the ranks of the Crusaders, handed Drazen over to the demons. Today he will hand Drazen over to the Crusaders while fighting on the side of the demons. Huh? Hang the Sword of Valor. To achieve victory, the Crusaders must hang the Sword of Valor above the walls of Drazen once again. But the banner is a symbol, and it is mortals who give meaning to symbols. What will this banner mean today? Victory, I guess? Okay, let's move up. How can we get up? In a fast way. Me Where are we? We are here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hmm If we go inside there... I mean... Pool. There is the exit. Yeah. We could go up again. I mean, we had to go this way, this way, up there. Here is the, the stupidly strong demon. I wasn't here. Don't know where we can get there. Uh, or we can look at this, this place inside there. Who knows what's inside there. No, 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 no. All of you. Ah, come on. You must be joking. And we found another... Another trap we can't disarm. Okay, so let's move out there. And you... Move here. It's just a cool cold. Rest of you. There are claws and tooth marks on the broken bones and unknown of unknown prisoners. Okay, where does this lead? Hmm. I don't know. Ah, uh, so that's what it looks like, the famed relic of the Crusades. Did you know that the Church of Iomide lent it to the Crusaders long ago, and then they went and lost it? What a deliciously awkward conversation that must have been. Darren takes a half step back, casting an appraising look at you and the Sword of Valor. You look very fine indeed. I thought to foretell that the shops of 
Mendoff will soon be full of souvenir paintings with names like the commander reclaiming the holy banner. People will hang them above their mantles and use them to cover cracks in walls to keep out drafts. I may even purchase one myself. I have something by which to remember this moment. Since when are you my biggest fan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look great in all the heroic paintings they'll make of me. We're on the verge of liberating Dresden, and we must. We just won back a sacred artifact, and yet all you can think about is cheap pictures that will be sold at village fairs. Everything that makes the rab rebel respect me works in my favor. Keep your spiteful little comments to yourself. Yeah, let's ask him since when he's my biggest fan. I scarcely know myself, I suppose. I have always been fascinated by people who are willing to take their fate into their own hands. Power and freedom are attractive, you know. Aside from that, you look quite beguiling in the light of a campfire and you don't snore, or do you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was talking about the power of the moment, about wanting to remember it. Since the day my sweet cousin tossed me into the middle of this crusade, I felt like I've been plunged into icy water with my hands tied behind my back. A most loathsome sensation. I am forced to live in conditions to which I am ill-accustomed and ill-suited. Risking my life for ideals I consider to be utterly worthless, and I have already missed three premieres in the capital's opera season. It's an outrage. Ah, yes, Darren. And do you know what's the most curious thing of all? Here I stand, looking at you and this and at this holy wall rug, and I feel that there is nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Be careful now, or else you might just fall in love with me. I like it when you talk like this, sincerely, with no sting in the tail. Heart to heart, aren't you a strong suit? I prefer it when your comments have a little bite to them. That was long-winded. Let's move on. We have things to do. I think... Mm, there can be a love interest story here between the uh, protagonist and Darren. Um, not sure if I want to go through with that. Um, my character is true neutral and Darren is at least neutral evil or evil neutral or whatever it's called. So at least he's a bit like me, although Nanyo would be more more uh, would be better aligned with me. And she's also a fox. So, hmm. so let's take the second. Why not? It's a good thing you said that. Now I know that I shouldn't talk like this too often. <laughs> or else you'll start getting the ridiculous idea that I'm trying to be nice to you, won't you? Or, God forbid, you'll decide that I feel something toward you beyond slight curiosity and equally slight antipathy. I suppose this conversation has been unbearably long already. Yeah, and everyone else is listening. But I should have known the first time we met in Calabres what I was getting myself into when I threw in with you. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And the most exciting. Thank you, I guess. Ah, <gasps> oh, there is the exit. As, as I said, there is always the possibility to exit sooner or better, or easier. Let's collect all. We probably can't go now. <laughs> ah, 
times up as well. That's good. Let's see if we can sell all the stuff and hang the hang the thing. I'm not sure if we will find Nura again. Uh, one of my friends told me that there is one person betraying the um, betraying the crusade you wouldn't think of. The legendary banner of the crusaders is right in front of you. A drop of blood falls onto it from where? The wound on your chest must have reopened and is now bleeding again. Ah, come on. This is not good. To touch Iomedes' holy banner to brush away the scarlet drop when you freeze abruptly. All of a sudden, you are aware of your own powers. You are no longer a grain of sand resisting the countless armies of the Abyss. You are something greater. Hey, do we get another mythic rank? Like Ayumide, once rejected her humanity to ascend and gain divinity, you are ready to take the first step on the path to regaining power. But what will your power look like? Ah, we can, we can do four. We have unlocked four of the possible ways. And the Eon is the embodiment of law and order and possesses the power to correct abnormalities in the fabric of time and reality itself. Is this, but is this really true neutral? I mean, it's, it's the embodiment of law and order. It must be lawful, mustn't it? We could also take the angel. The angel is a mighty champion of good who set a shining example for the crusade of smiting demons with the sword of holy flame. Those who fight alongside the angel can be certain that they will be protected, healed, and even resurrected in the event of their untimely demise. So this is, this is um, lawful good. The demon is chaotic evil. I mean, why should you... Ah, oh, see? You change the um, appearance. With what you choose. Uh, the demon is the epitome of rage. A little push is all that is needed to break their self-control and turn them... Yeah, whatever. We don't take it anyway. And the trickster, this is, I think, uh, chaotic neutral. Could it be that this is lawful neutral and this is chaotic neutral? Hmm. I don't know. For the trickster, nothing is set in stone because every stone can be smashed to pieces. If one is powerful enough, with every tweak and twist, they make to the world the trickster shatters mundane understandings of reality, often simply for the fun of it. Mythic tricksters can find creative uses for their skill. So, what is it that we can do? We have enforcing gaze at, at Third rank Eon gains the ability to enforce rules on everything around them, giving various benefits to the allies and hindering the enemies. Once activated, this ability lasts until the combat ends, at which point all of the bonuses immediately disappear. Enemies can try to make a will saving throw to resist this effect, receiving a minus two penalty on the throw if they have the chaotic alignment. Lawful to me. This ability can be used one plus mythic rank times per day. And what's Aeon Bane? 
at the fourth rank. Rank, Eon gains an ability to make his weapon and spells especially deadly against his enemies. For a number of rounds per day, equal to twice your mythic rank, you can make any weapon you wield count as having Bane quality. Your spells gain a bonus equal to your mythic rank to cast the level check. To overcome spell resistance, and every hit you make with weapons or spells, the spell effects from the target as per the dispel magic spell that's nice additionally if you have inquisitor's bane ability the number of rounds per day stack and you gain the same bonuses while using inquisitor's bane ability i don't think that eon is true neutral i i, I guess I guess we'll take it anyway. Hmm. Whatever. So we get a mythical ability. We already have the mythical beast, which makes our animal companion stronger. The animal companion gains a bonus to its strength, dexterity, and constitution equal to half your mythic rank plus one. That's nice. So every mythic level we get, the Philomuchus gets, uh, Half a point in strength, dexterity, and constitution. That's nice, I guess. Okay. Um, this will take some time. Abundant casting, always a chance. Attacks are now less affected by luck. Don't automatically miss when you roll a one. Nah. Archmage armor, no ascendant element. Brutality incarnate. The wounds you inflict with your natural attacks are anything but natural. Hmm. Cleaving storm. Hmm. Interesting. Because we have, uh, we are fighting with, uh, bow. Each time you deal critical damage with your ranged weapon attack, or reduce the target to zero hit points, you deal your weapon damage to all other enemies in 10 feet radius. Hmm, that's nice. That's good. Dimensional retribution. Leave a mystical link with enemy spellcasters that lets you instantly move to them. Nah. Distracting shots. Your ranged weapon attacks are dangerous enough for the enemy to forget about melee threats. Benefit if you hit an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, they receive a penalty on AC against melee attacks equal to half your mythic rank for one round. Hmm, that's also nice. Elemental barrage, no emergency help. In that situation, you can instantly make your way to a companion in danger and get them back into combat. Meh. Enduring spells. Hmm. Enforced Wigger. Some people motivate their companions by their mere presence. Every time you damage an you damage an ally. This is good for casters who always put uh, fireballs <laughs> in the front row. Ever ready? You are always ready to unleash some extra. Whenever you make an attack of opportunity, no, we don't do attack of opportunity. Those vulnerability, the enemy's vulnerable points. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals additional 1d6 mythic ranks. Nah. 
inspirational leader. Of your mythic rank plus one to their initiative, their saving throws against mind affecting effects and their concentration checks. Mm, that's good. Last stand. Nah. Leading strike. Every time you hit the target, melee combat, no. Limitless rage. No. Magic notification. Your mythic powers can negate any magic around you. Activating disability grants you magic immunity and dispels any spell effect on you. Master Shifter. Ne. Mythic Charge. Powerful Shadows. Ranging shot. Every time you miss an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, your aim improves, giving you a stacking plus one bonus on attack against the same enemy. Uh, rupture restraints, the bigger they are, the easier they are to hit for your ranged weapon attacks. You gain a bonus on your attack rolls with ranged weapons equal to the penalty to AC. Target receives from their size, if any. Hmm. Thundering blows. Unrelenting assault. Unstoppable. And there are some. What do I say? Some, a lot of things that I can't take. Oh my god, so many. Okay, there are two that were just quite good. Um... The cleaving shot was good. And what's the another the another was distracting shots. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll take the cleaving shot first. And we get an enforcing gaze. Uh, caster level. All spells your allies cast have their caster level increased by one plus one per three mythic ranks. All spells and spell like abilities cast by your enemies who failed their saving throw have their caster level reduced by the same amount. Ah, this is one of the forcing base safety seed damage reduction. Okay, I think these two are quite good. Caster level and damage reduction. I mean, damage reduction is more, what's it called, universal. But the caster level is good in fights with strong enemies, I guess. You grant your allies damage reduction and chaotic where n is equal to double your mythic rank. Your enemies who failed their saving throws have their damage reduction reduced by an amount equal to your mythic rank. 
Once activated, this ability lasts until the combat ends, at which point all of the bonuses immediately disappear. Hmm. Anyway, take the caster level. I think this is this is nicer. And we get three spells. Interesting. Ah, these are Aeon spells. Hmm. Stunning barrier. True strike. No one needs true strike. Protection from alignment is good. And stone barrier, why not? This is just personal, is it? <sighs> yeah, let's take the shield. Wound on your chest closes and the drops of blood spilled on the sword of Weyler bursts into transparent flames. A wave of fire rushes out from the blood and across the entire banner, transforming it and emblazoning it with new colors. Power descends upon you, suffusing your mortal body, remaking it in its image. It fills your body up to the brim, breaking bones and tearing muscles. While at the same time healing them, you raise your head, acutely aware that you've been blessed to meet, met out justice, maintaining the stability of the cosmic order from here to eternity. Do you? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Now is not the time to linger. We can reflect on events later. Now is the time to act. Really? Is it? Ah. Banner will be revealed. Yay! Ah, oh, they try to teleport and die. Okay, so this episode was much longer than I first thought. Uh, 
practices in the past. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, Yaniel is is the witch from before. I don't think that the witch was a bad person. Uh, probably he was a bad person. Okay. I don't think she is the bad person. Hmm. <laughs> That's great. I love Nenyo. One look from Arilo and Nenyo falls silent. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've helped me twice already in Canabras when we fell into the caves and here pointing the way to the Sword of Lela. Why would a half demon discarries? favorite ever do such a thing. Okay. She can still teleport. Oh no. We have to fight someone. Interesting. Ah, we have no. Ah, we have a fireball still. That's great. Nice that um, Nanyo got, got the first shot. That's that. I hope so. Okay, now my friends are also um, getting the mythic path. Uh, we will do this, I will do this in between episodes as this is really tedious and yeah, anyway, until then, I hope you enjoy you yourself. We see each other again tomorrow. Bye.